The year 2060. Humanity is about to close the last fossil fuel power plant on Earth. At last, the world will run entirely on clean energy. How will we do it? By building better power plants, clean ones. Because the only way to close polluting power plants without causing blackouts is to build renewable energy nearby. But it does have to be near that fossil fuel plant. Building solar panels a thousand miles away wouldn't work. That would just replace other power plants over there. And they were already clean. Surprisingly, to slash carbon emissions, it's not enough to build clean energy anywhere to meet electricity demand. To close the fossil fuel plants, we had to keep building clean energy near the power plants that were doing the emitting. How did we get here? Let's rewind. To close the last fossil fuel plant, we have to build renewable energy near it. To close the one before that, we had to build renewable energy near that one. To close fossil fuel plants, we had to build clean energy where the pollution was. In the beginning of the climate movement, where we built clean energy didn't matter because everywhere on Earth was powered by fossil fuels. But not anymore. Because we've actually made so much progress. In Iceland, fossil fuel power is gone. Amazingly, today, a new solar panel there won't fight climate change at all. Norway is down to 1% fossil fuel power, and Washington and California are close behind. In these places, new clean energy mostly replaces existing renewables, not fossil fuels. Each new solar panel people build in these regions reduces less emissions than the one before it. Yet many other places around the world have barely begun shutting down polluting plants, leaving communities exposed to harmful emissions that cause asthma, cancer, and more. Building clean energy there can reduce up to five times more emissions than in other places, fighting climate change five times faster, and saving up to 13 times more lives. This is a triple win for climate, communities, and conservation. Careful planning and management can minimize impacts to nature and maximize benefits to people and the planet. That's part of why the Climate Trace Coalition of environmental nonprofits, tech companies, and academics developed this map of where in the world all the highly emitting power plants are. Next, Watt Time, with support from the Nature Conservancy and Project Drawdown, used that data and created this map that identifies which power grids each power plant is in. The result? This map shows which regions are still heavily fossil fuel powered, which is where renewable energy can have the biggest impact today. In fact, by simply building the same amount of clean energy we already built, but just placing it in smarter locations, we could cut 5.4 billion tons of CO2 per year, more than all the annual emissions in America. Right now, many well-meaning institutions are increasingly focused on where to build renewables. Many of them are wondering if building clean energy locally is a way to ensure it is impactful. The thing is, institutions who build renewables are typically based in wealthy places that have already built a lot of renewables. Places like San Jose, California or Boston, Massachusetts. As a result, today over 95% of renewable energy worldwide has been built in the same few places, usually in the wealthiest countries. For many climate issues, local action is best, but not for this one. If you live in a region with high levels of clean energy, like many in the US and Europe, keep in mind that there are other places around the world where building clean energy is up to five times more impactful for global emissions reductions. That's why institutions like MIT, Harvard, and Boston University choose to double their impact by building clean energy in North Dakota instead of locally. With rising wildfires, storms, and floods, cutting emissions is more urgent than ever. That's why we must drive as much impact as we can with the renewable energy we are building, and not waste any of it. So if you're trying to do the right thing by building locally, Remember that the most impactful place to build may not be in your backyard. And use this map at carbontreasuremap.org to find the place where your project does the most good.